I'm making a game. Hi guys, my name is Pink Mustache Cat. I think I just did the biggest work in my game in terms of coding, which is remappable buttons. Okay, so hear me out. I could just forget about supporting controllers and made PC only game, but you know, learning new things is always fun. So this is this was a really big ordeal for me. I've been working on this for four days. Before that, I was so busy. My mom was in hospital and other excuses and troubles, and I could just forget about control and support and make a PC on the game, but, you know, learning new things is always fun. So this was a very big ordeal, and in this video, I'm gonna show you what I have so far. So I have this fancy animation, this pointer animation, this transition animation. Oh, look at this, so fancy, even though no one cares. We have three levels here. In this level, if I press enter on this level, we can enter, but right now I disabled it because this video is only about the main menu. And let's go to the the meat of this video, which is reconfigure. I mean, remappable controllers. So I have these four elements of menus, settings menu, excuse me. Video and audio does nothing for now. Well, let's go to controller, and here you can see that I have two actions and two buttons corresponding to them. And if I press confirm on my controller, and that button name flashes, and while it flashes, it means it's listening to the input. And so I can press any of these four action buttons on my controller. I had to do this because every controller has different button layouts. For example, this Chinese controller has what I guess is PlayStation 3 layout and Xbox and PlayStation 4 layouts are different. So therefore, anyone can plug in the controller and remap their desired button to have the best experience of my platformer game. And let's say I wanna map uh, this button, which is joystick button 3, and it can vary from controller to controller. And let's change the other one too. Let's change it to button 0 which is the topmost button. I'm guessing button 0 is A button in Xbox controller if you have one and the confirm key is now button 3, return key is now button 0 so if I press on 0 I will return to the main menu and if I press on 3 I can go forward. And let's set it to my favorite which is of course the bottom most button is always the confirm button in gaming standards and this button is always for dashing and returning in most games dashing in dark souls in celeste etc and but the hardest part well not the hardest but equally hard part was to prevent duplicate inputs so let's say i, wa I wanna put a uh, not wanna i will try to put same buttons on here and see what happens and i'm gonna press on this and the same button of confirm and it won't let me because that would mess things up and this text turns red which warns me to enter this on a different button again so I'm gonna set it back to button number one and let's try the same on here and this time not this jump confirm button is turning red the other one is turning it because it might seem like a bug but because the reason is, you can't have no confirm button. If you have no confirm button, you can't navigate this menu. So that's just how I made it. And let's put it in more reasonable button. And another very useless feature I made is, in practical world, people will only use controller only or keyboard only. No one's gonna mix the keyboard and control together so if I press enter while my cursor is on the controller I won't allow it to enter I don't know why I did this the same thing happens when I navigate back to keyboard and use my controller to enter this menu it won't let me but if I press on enter it lets me and the same story here whatever button you want and even these special keys like con right control, left alt, backspace, equals, minus, yara yara, wait. Okay, number buttons doesn't work. I don't know why, but number buttons 
does not work. Back quote. Isn't it tilde? Oh, if I press shift and back quote, that's tilde. And tab, caps lock doesn't work. And space. I'm pretty sure some people love space, but in my taste, I love it in Celestly. Wait, that is wrong. Put it on X, put it on C. And ask to return. You can, uh, if you're on keyboard, you can either press C to return or ask to return. Same thing with X to enter and enter to enter. So that's pretty much what I have here. And I have two more things to do. One is I will put a reminder on the bottom screen that which button does which action. And the other one is... I forgot the other one. I'm guessing there is no such thing as other one. Yeah, okay, I was just delusional. There is no other one. So that is all I have so far. That's all I have made in the past four days. And all of this ordeal was... I mean, ordeal is the wrong word. All of this work was very fun. I always have fun when I'm working on my game. I never felt tedious, exhausting, tiring, boring. But the thing that's stopping me is the fear that I'm not fast enough. I want to produce contents like factories, but I'm not doing it. And that feeling of fear that I'm gonna die before finishing this game is really holding me back. But someone told me that there is no such thing as patience if there is no pain in any way, shape or form. And much like that, I just thought about this this morning. There is no positivity and optimism if things are not already fucked up. And my life is already fucked up, but this year I will try to be consci I will consciously try to be a more positive and optimistic person. And you know, and last year was a very depressing year and well, I wasn't much of a person, positive person before that, but 2019 was very dark and that turned me into very much negative person. And even though in, I made a video about I will change in the 2020, but everyone knows that New Year D me hashtag is such a bullshit. It's not gonna change in the 1st of January, it's gonna take some time and this year's one thing I'm gonna focus on my self-improvement is try to be more positive despite all the things that's happening well not much happens by the way things are not too terrible just constantly terrible okay constantly mildly terrible so there is other topic that I want to talk about in this video I am pri prioritizing my work in the race. What I mean is I should have done this main menu battery mapping feature in the end of my game. I must push contents that can be seen and heard and I should post on Twitter as frequently as possible. But I'm working in reverse. The content, content is the most important thing. Actually, this reminded me one of the Unus Anos video. Sorry, everyone knows what 5 Minute Crafts is, right? The company behind 5 Minutes Crafts. 5 Minute Crafts is owned by the sole publishing company, which says it produces an absolutely wild 1500 videos a month. Now that's content. Huh? That's content. But I'm doing it in reverse. I have no content. I'm working on something that does not produce any content in the era of content. That just says that I'm a loser. I don't deserve any success. What am I even doing with my life? Uh, what kind of video is this? Uh, vlog? Devlog? Well, whatever. But I have to apologize that I'm not gonna be able to make any Let's Play videos. As much I love making Let's Play videos because because of the people watching this gives me the feeling, the sensation that someone is supporting me, is watching me, is wishing me good and I really want to do that but my brother is here at home and while he's here I cannot record. Yeah that sucks. But whatever. Now that I have done this big heavy coding work I will start producing content okay and in the next video or Twitter post I will come back with the content. <laughs>